Hello, my name is Garnet, and this is my uh, channel, Garnet is a Jewel. And as much as I love doing crocheting or other items with yarn, as you can tell, I also found that in the process of doing crochet as well as a full-time job, I find myself sitting a lot and over a course of time it has affected my well-being not my mental well-being just my overall physical well-being so I decided to try and start some exercises that I think will help but limit my crochet to about 20 minute intervals maybe half an hour. I'm doing what I think is best for me. When I first started crocheting mm, 10, 12 years ago, my husband and I used to sit next to each other. He'd be over there on his computer and I'd be over there on my computer. I found myself watching crochet videos or sewing videos and then it turned into an obsession because I made bracelets from crochet thread. That was 60 pounds ago. You can tell. I'm not going to stand up and show you, but you can tell I've put on some weight. Which I'm not too proud of. So I started doing um, yoga. And I found that how in flexible I have become. My husband and I had discussed that I've been sitting too long from my job. I sit, I come home, I do my housework, which doesn't take much because it's just the two of us in our house. And then I sit again. And if I'm not sitting, I'm laying down. So what do you do? So I thought I would make suggestions on some exercises that would be good before, during, and after we do um, crochet. So let's start with some of the things that I think would be best. So with our hands, let's spread them out. Okay, with one hand, take and spread it. Just a little bit more. And if you do these just for a few minutes at a time, you, you will find a big difference in your wrist and hand movements. Okay, so we squeeze them and open them and squeeze them and open them. Now, if you like me, I have fingernails right here so yeah I'm squeezing my fingernails into my hands but it's okay as long as you're getting that exercise then we want to start with our wrist just twist them around then we can take our arms let me scoot back a little bit and go out to the side and bring them in I guess you can tell I've hurt my shoulder, so that muscle is a little tight. So if you do just a little bit of arm and shoulder exercises, just to help get that blood circulating. And after you've been crocheting for maybe 20 minutes to a half an hour, to just flex those muscles again, I think you're going to find a big difference in the movement of your hands. Me, I was picking up bookcases that weighed over 50 pounds thinking, yeah, I can do this. This is what I used to do. And as you can tell, <laughs> my muscle said, guess what? Because I had put on the extra weight. 
You don't see me much in my videos because I'm really not too proud of showing what weight I have gained. But I have accepted who I am and I am slowly making differences to correct the weight that I have gained. So my crocheting is still going on but not as much as it used to. I usually take 20 minutes at a time which is usually before I start my job and during my lunch hour. They're just 20 minutes and 20 minute lunch break which is fine for me. That way when I come home I can focus on me and work, work on my exercising and I have started the yoga that I found online which is very helpful for me. I sit in a chair and I do it and I find out how unflexible I not but I'm getting there and I walk on a treadmill for um, 12 to 15 minutes slowly building up that time so hopefully if everything goes right <laughs> also I've changed my diet I don't sit around and eat sugary stuff like I used to I had to limit um, diet sodas and I'm not too comfortable with some of the um, frozen foods because some of them have a lot of salt in it. So this is some of just some of my suggestions to you and my experiences. So hopefully um, you maybe you can incorporate just some hand exercises, just those two or three minutes before you start crocheting to help with the circulation in your arms, your shoulders, and if you have to, you can also do some neck, neck exercises, but go carefully. Okay? I know this is kind of like one of those spur of the moment videos, but I thought I'd go ahead and put it on. So, till we talk and see each other again next time, stretch those muscles and enjoy your crocheting. Bye-bye.